Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to an episode of a... Exactly, that's the podcast you're listening to today, ladies and gentlemen. The blah, 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 blah show. So let's get this party cracking. Okay, hey, incompetent nerds. <laughs> right, what's up, y'all? This isn't uh, Mark and D in the morning, you know? It's definitely ain't Mark and D in the morning, even though, you know, they may, y'all may sauce, y'all may raviolis, I'm... <sighs> made children. No, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm just saying it for the content, man. You know, you let me be great. Okay. Okay. We're not I'm doing do it for again. the content. We're not doing that whole let me be great again. <laughs> D, what are we today. reviewing today? Oh, we're going to go over the stereo app. Well, I love it. Stereo? Now, why are we going to go over the stereo app? Because we're all on there talking <laughs> crazy, you know, straight I lunacy. Straight lunacy. So uh, let's kick it off. I'll go ahead and kick it off first. One, uh, I just want to say Mark did alert me and D about this before. And we downloaded I downloaded it a little bit too late, but started listening to it and was enjoying it. And then I finally got involved. And I am loving this app 100%. So the app is kind of like uh, the way I like to explain it to people is like chat roulette meets uh, like live podcasting. You know, you you either listen to a, two people talking and they can either be have it scheduled and they know each other or it can be random. And then they just talk and you can listen to them. You can send them voice memos or you can match up with someone yourself and talk to them or schedule your own talks and Sort of like podcasting on demand, if you will. So I like how a little bit. Yeah, go ahead. I like how they they also describe it as is as in this is like a new social media. It's another uh, social media platform, but in where it's like you said, it's like chat roulette or Omingo or any of those, you know, weird chat sites. Yeah. So so I was telling D, it was actually made by the creators of Bumble, but. I think what because you know they had success of like building a huge app like that obviously it's like a dating app but because they built it I think they were just able to acquire so much capital and so much money yeah so now I think they're using that money to like give back and you know have the little weekly ten thousand dollar competition which D can explain in a second but um but yeah it's just nice to be like a part of something that's like pretty pretty new and to see like how big you know we all can grow it like together kind of yeah yeah definitely yeah. it's a new frontier ah we back to our oh, argument oh, oh shit. shit here we go <laughs> i proved you i was on the cusp but i'm not i proved y'all wrong i always told y'all there's new frontiers i always, always told y'all frontier. <laughs> No, okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. Like, I've been... No, no, there's no new frontiers. No. Even right. even in this new even in this new like the app's been out for like less than a week and I'm already just like I'm I mean we have our podcast, but I'm also thinking like, you know, what do people like live? Like how do you like how could you get people to be engaged live? So you're definitely right on that one. Uh I can admit when I'm wrong, so I'll give you I'll give you props on that one. <laughs> and it's all good, you know, we all make mistakes. I screw up too, so it's all good. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to throw, sure. that, throw it in y'all face. I was really saving that for the podcast. Oh, sure, you sure. mother flower. Okay. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to be petty. <laughs> <laughs> petty D as always. <laughs> yes. But, so, um, what do you guys like about the app? What do you guys not like about the app? Uh, I guess I'll kick it off. So, one thing, I'm going to start with the bad first. One okay. thing I don't like is. They don't have any accessories for the avatar for like a COVID mask. That's one thing that I want. <laughs> Why don't they have that? So we're in a pandemic. So we right? we actually got to like pick sort of the design of like the emojis. The the emojis that they picked it was like it was kind of like between a we sort of me guy, the one that they have which is more like Bitmoji emoji kind of style, and then the other one was just like way out of left field. Like these weird, these weird, like, I don't know how to even describe them because it was, they weren't really like textured. So it was like literally like a 2D cartoon almost. Uh, yeah. Okay. But um, I think they're going to add more accessories as time goes on. It, I mean, it is one, we're all, we are one weekend. You can't, 
but I I think also like your voice moves, your mouth moves when you talk. Yeah. So yeah, they have to really show cool. that. You know? Yeah. If you had a mask on, you wouldn't be able to see the the person talking. But you could make the the mask move according to what they're saying. You know, it's like they're talking underneath the mask. Yeah, but that's cut. That would be cool. That was my only negative feedback. The good feedback is you can get a lot of people to listen to what you're saying. Yeah. Like instantaneous. Like uh yeah. like our episode from uh last night with me and Tank. Dude, I didn't know those many people was actually like even listening. So so for the yeah, audience, you guys so, got up to you got up to seven followers or seven listeners at one time, and it's like the longer people listen, like you only if you think about it, you only need someone to listen for a minute, and then it's like, oh, those guys are funny. They tap the follow button, they tap on your website, and then tap on the podcast, see all the rest of your content, you know? Yeah. So I just found that to be really cool, and like I said, I didn't even know any of that because for the audience you know i have anxiety so i never want to look at how many people are listening coming in and out and stuff like that it kind of bothers me no wonder so we I, kept missing messages yo ass wasn't looking yeah <laughs> I, yeah i keep the uh, phone face down so i don't see any of that so i just want to just talk naturally without having to worry about what's going on who's listening and stuff like that i did enjoy the fact and how it felt like over like I kind of like zoned down the fact that we were on an app, and made it feel more like if me or D were having a, a conversation, like a phone call, and a hundred percent I felt that freedom that I was able to like walk around my home, do what I need to do, but also do this app, you know, also have a ch- uh, chat over this app as well, um, and it felt pretty natural. I was even playing Call of Duty, and I would look at my phone just to see because. We got, when D first, because D, you said it, that we had our first message. I was like, oh, snap. Mm-hmm. Then after that, I kept the phone on the side just to be sure. And sure enough, we're getting messages after messages. I think we got five total. Two of them were Mark or three of them. Um, but either or, it was it was overall fun. And I love the engagement of the audience to, uh, you know, to the speakers. We even got trolled a little bit, but it was all love. It was all good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the troll. So we had. Two, we got three messages from the troll. We had two, three messages from a legit dude, and we have another three messages from Mark. Yeah. So by us getting messages, I feel like we were just slowly growing up in the popularity. Along with yeah. Mark, you did say that when you jumped on the app, you swiped three times, and we were right there. Yeah. So I, you got I. It didn't say it didn't give me any notification. I was just trying to like log on, but then I was just like the other two. The other two people are like creators, so like they're my competition. I don't like to listen to my competition. <laughs> of course. So I was right. just swiping, and then you guys were the third like card or whatever, and you had I think like four listeners at the time. So yeah. maybe it's because I'm following you though. I don't know. It it, it could be it, you know your list. I think the list may curate because of the followers or like because of like if you're verified or not. But I mean, who cares, man? This is a new app. We gotta we gotta ride the wave anyway. But see, like you guys talked for what thirty minutes? No, and, like we've already had I more. It was engagement. like an hour. Oh, oh yeah. really? We were on yeah. that. We were, if you go to our, uh, if you go to one of our pages and check our recordings, me and D actually recorded two hours and seven minutes. Oh, oh wow! I didn't even know it was that long. Wow. Because it's like we we're having a conversation. I feel like the next time I feel like there's a topic I should talk about to you guys, like offline of the podcast. I feel like I'm just gonna text y'all, like, yo, I have this. I gotta talk to you guys about this. Let's do a stereo jump app on. session and let's jump yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. And we just hit it. So that way all of our numbers grow and we keep moving. And I feel like right now, since this app is early, we are riding this early wave. Uh, similar to like how folks who became, you know, Vine famous, TikTok famous, YouTube famous, and are mm-hmm. still around to this day. Like even though, oh, excuse me, even though Vine, you know, went downhill. Um uh, those some people of those still folks, have the following. Some of those folks, yeah, like, they had that following. Ways. And they yeah. were able to move over to other platforms. Hell, some of them were able to do, right. you know, feature films and other stuff. So I feel exactly. like if we keep this going, we could be that next wave. Yeah, man. I, I like the I like how like it's just very like in it like what I was saying was like you got okay, so you recorded for two hours and you had like almost six, seven times the engagement we get when we like do our podcast because like we don't 
you know, it's hard to get, it's hard for someone to like go out of their way and like send you an email that says like, good job. Or like, Oh, F you guys. Like, I don't agree with what you said or whatever. Like have me on the podcast and we'll debate or whatever. But like with the app, it's like, it's instantaneous. They, yeah. they, they just record their, their thought, send it to you and then you can play it. And it's just that it's that easy to just receive it and then like comment it on then and then move on. Oh yeah. Yeah. And it's that engagement. I feel like, I really feel like at this point, I know we discussed a lot of things on uh, the way we could push the podcast, but I feel like at this point, we should focus a lot more on stereo because that might be the place. <laughs> I'm not lying. After this, after those few days just dealing with it and having this conversation and that, that viewership and that engagement, it was like, we're getting more people listening to me and D. On our two-hour episode, ship in a bottle, talking about like a fake. ship in the bottle, exactly, a hundred percent. Talking about a ship in the bottle, we had more viewers listen to that than we had viewers listening to one of our top list top listing videos. I mean, top listed uh, podcast. So yeah, it's just right. like I feel like we should still continue the podcast, of course, and you know, try to get as you know, make our audience grow. But I feel like a lot of our resources and time should go into the stereo app because that right there could, I feel like, is going to make us. You know, I definitely Mark feel would, like that's the move. Same. Is, there, are, is, is Incompetent Nerds rebranding right now? I feel like. <laughs> on <yes>. live? <laughs> on live. Incompetent Nerds Unplugged, ladies and gentlemen. Follow us on studio. On stereo. I'm about stereo. to say studio. Follow and us on plus, stereo. And plus, on stereo, I just feel like I could cuss. I just feel like I could just go crazy, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the other thing. I feel, that's the other I feel thing I wanted to, yeah. to talk about. Yeah. So I, I like obviously we feel comfortable with each other. So like we're chilling, talking to each other whenever we see the other person online. But like when I I was trying to like just search and have some conversations with people, and it got really weird really quickly. I was like shocked at like how how quick the trolls like set in. There were like twelve year olds. They were like, I'm trying to meet girls. And I was like, Bro, you're twelve. And he's like, How did you know? And I was like, Disconnect. <laughs> but like. I mean, it doesn't take long for like, you know, something to, to, to get out there. You know, like I, I sometimes talk to you guys about like my apprehension with posting stuff and like, who's your audience? Should, is it funny? Blah, blah, blah. But like, once you start putting it out there, people, people pick it up, even if you don't realize it. Yeah. But, and if you all ever have a chance, please download the app and y'all have to listen to me talk about the real life, like a ship in the, in the bottle. Y'all have to listen to this. It's completely, it's so ridiculous. It's was that your hundred. first talk ever, D? I think that was like my second talk. I think the first time with uh, Tank, we was actually just kind of just testing it out. And I think I was only only on there for about four minutes. But I think yeah. that was like my first like full session, I believe. But I could be wrong. Okay. But there you go. That's there you go. Think. Yeah. But it was cool. It just took that wild turn. Like, you know how how incompetent we are. We go on one topic and then we just kind of just, it just kind of flows somewhere else. But it was fun. Yeah. What would you rate the app out of 10, guys? I don't give it a 9, just because they don't have the mask. <laughs> if they had the mask, <laughs> I'd have gave it a 10, but so far they get a 9. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a 7.5. My right, reason. Seven point five. All your positivity. You got a seven point five. That's a C. <laughs> the app is young. One, the app is okay. young. Two, there's more room for improvement, and I could see a lot of it. Um, such as, let's hear it. Okay, such as one, the ability the to switch between accounts. So, for example, if I want to have my tank account, but also have my incompetent nerds account, or maybe you know steal D's account and use that, then bam. Two, the customization of your avatar. I feel like that's uh that's gonna be a given. That's gonna they're gonna be more and more I feel like they already have enough options to begin with as a start. That was a lot of options, which is pretty dope. But also number three, try to implement a way for uh uh noise cancellation. Using oh, that's a good one. There are cer- there are cer- uh there are other audio apps, so like Discord and other apps. Right. Actually, use a like I forgot what it's called, but actually use a system in where it tries to like uh, 
uh, mm-hmm. disregard sound in the background and focus more on you without the use of said technology. So like a Bluetooth like headset or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Every, it's being run like that. Uh, right. That's three. And then um, give us more of a give us more customizations with our profile. I feel like it's very bland and I feel like it's part of the future, but I want to see my links. I don't want to see, you know, my name and the, you're able to, you know, customize it and everything like that. I mean, custom, uh, add like your Instagram, your, your Twitter, your whatever, your podcast. I want to be able to see it all right there and not actually look for it. Cause I was looking for my, uh, the podcast. Oh, you mean link. like when you're, when you're talking to somebody. No, not when you're talking to somebody. When you go to their profile. So, Mark, I went on your profile and I saw a link to, I think, your Twitter or your Instagram. But then when I clicked on, let me double check. But I had to click on something else just to, what you call it, just to see that the link to, like, our podcast is there. Yeah. yeah so, when yeah, I yeah. click on you, I get, you know, following the little phone to call you and then Twitter. But when I click on the three dots next to it. I also right. get, you know, unfollow, um, share profile with friends, copy profile. Then is there, then is your Instagram account and then your Apple podcast. I feel like that should all be in the front. That should all be in the front. If you're going to be sharing yeah. details. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, I added my Twitter. I'm going back and forth between if I should have my Twitter or my Instagram because it only lets you, it only puts like one button there automatically. So mm-hmm. I had my Instagram there and then I added my Twitter today and now it's like it sends people to my Twitter instead of Instagram. But like I like the Instagram button because it's just like you click it, it brings it up through the app and then you just click follow and then you can go back to like listening. You don't really have to think about it because yeah. I think if you're like, oh, I don't have a Twitter, then you don't follow that person, you know, but if it's like, oh, I have an Instagram, I'll follow them or like, oh, like that was cool. You know, you, you listen to like the the like uh podcasts and like website stuff like i think you go to that stuff later but i think mm-hmm. you like follow like on instagram or follow them like quickly so that definitely should be like up there and like first for sure and, yeah and the last thing i want to say is the ability to download your own uh recordings okay so fun fact since i'm a creator you guys get the inside scoop <laughs> yeah so, uh, <laughs> D and and Tang or were there and they they were listening. I have a we started a morning show with Dia Morgan, more, Mark and D in the mornings, and I met I reached out to the stereo app and I was like, hey, is there a way to download the the file so I can you know you can slice like a, a funny segment or whatever and then promote use that to promote it on other social medias? And they said no, like right now you only can share it via like the link they have. And then not even two minutes later, the creators get an email and they're like, fill out this email on how to, on how we can splice your video links for you. Oh, and I was just like, <laughs> my. look, you. And I was like, Is, uh, your boy's making change out here, <laughs> Yo, bro. OK, so another thing I want to say is and this is not uh, about, you know, about my score on the app. But those were my main topics and why I only gave it a 7.5 out of 10, which I f- still feel like it's fair because that score is going to grow based on what they do. Yeah. Um, another right. theme. Where are you? Where is it? Boom. Not there. So I'm in the app right now. I'm just trying to get into the. Yeah. Yeah. Where yeah. is the Where is the set? Oh, there you There it is. So another thing is I saw on here is when I click on help. FAQ, it said, like, can I recommend someone who I think will be a good content creator for stereo? Mark, do your job. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that check, Mark. <laughs> Mark. I'll uh I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I gotta I feel like I feel like for me to have some poll, you got like we gotta get top ten at least. Yeah. That's true. Cause I was listening to some of the top ten people and I was like, man, I'm funnier than this. Yeah, yeah, I was low key judging people when I was listening. So yeah, hey, I was like, okay, yeah. I could definitely, I could definitely. Do and that. I also say that that number one guy, I was listening to him for like a good minute. I was like, nah, skip. <laughs> <laughs> I felt the same way, but shout out to him anyway. You know, yeah, shout out to him. You can't, you can't, you know, knock his hustle. But 
stashing the 10 G's in a week. He That's got like, surpassed. He did. He did. Yeah, quickly, too. Uh, and I dropped in my ranked. All right. But uh, I, no, I think I would give it. I would give it a nine out of ten. I think I agree with everything Tank said. I don't really care about the Avatar as much. So you guys, D, you lost me on that one. But I think a lot of people do. So I, I think you're probably in the majority, to be honest. But I think I think as they like work out the kinks and get like the seamlessness down, and like mm-hmm. once you were able to like download download your talks and things like that, I think it'll, it'll be a little bit better. Yeah. But I think for now, it's just like you got to, especially now with, you know, comedy, the question, it's like sort of a question mark. There's like a, it's a nice new way to like have content. And I think it's a nice new way to like put content out there. I mean, you can do a whole comedy show with just stereo if you get, you know, the people to download it and then just people have people in line, you know? Yeah. And I was really uh, lenient with my score because, um, with my job, I'm used to being on like the back end of like applications and stuff like that. And of yeah. course, no application is perfect, especially like the first week coming out. Right, but right, right. I didn't experience a lot of uh, like technical issues or anything like that. And I also assumed that, of course, it's going to get better over time. You know, you're not going to deal with like the perfect product out the gate. But I right, felt right. like as a like a rollout, like it was really, really good. So, yeah. So I just brought my score up because of that. Well, of course, there's always yeah. going to be improvements, but for the most part, it was a damn good rollout. Yeah, much agreed. For sure. Um, same thing with the technical side. This is why I want to get with the technical side. Is um, I think that's going to be more in the uh, back end, of course. Uh, the ability to try to keep high quality audio still going through with, you know, at least yeah, minimum uh, with everybody min- down. Think about it. Everybody downloading the app, everybody doing recordings, like that's a lot of data they gotta just like store in the cloud. And it's like, how long are your recordings gonna be stored? Yeah, you know. But, yeah. but another thing my was hypothesis. Uh... I think my hypothesis is they're gonna be have a premium option eventually where you can like save, you know, like you'll you'll get to save like five gigabytes worth, and then if you're premium, you get to save like twenty five gigabytes worth probably. Or unlimited. That's my hypothesis. Yeah. Um, that could be something that I, I think that's going to be real big amongst users and creators because I feel like if users want to get involved, they'll just probably keep the basic settings of five gigs or whatever and just, you know, chat right. away and be like, ah, I don't care about this. But I feel like the premium version will be like, oh, you get this much of cloud storage or you get a limit of cloud storage. On top of that, you get the download version because right. the download your right. stuff. So I feel like exactly. that's coming yeah, like out. We're kind of a startup. I like it's like cool to be like a quote unquote creator. Yeah. Yeah, it's really dope. Like, like I said, they did a fantastic job for a rollout. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. like the Anthem game coming out, you know, <laughs> <laughs> which suffered horrible, suffered horribly. But um, no, to like compare it to another app as a startup that was brand new and was like. For a stereo, not to have that much promotion, but still make it out with decent numbers. Uh, yeah. Quibi, which was a mobile app all about streaming videos, when it dropped 30 days after its release date, most, they said about like over 90%, 95% of its viewers, user base just left, leaving these people oh in God. the dust yeah. with, a, with a bill of like in the millions because they spent millions of dollars on marketing along with uh Dude, they celebrities spent billions they spent billions making shows yeah but that's what they get i and think they're gonna i think what they were trying to you know they thought everybody would download it nobody did because i think because like once we started to stay home like you had two hours to watch a movie you didn't have to you weren't like oh let me watch the show real quick on the train you know like mm-hmm. you could you could be working from home, watch a movie, still, you know, have it play in the background or whatever. But I mean, I think their goal, if they don't, if they don't make their money back, because I see ads for Quibi like all the time. I think if they don't make their money back, they're just going to sell their content to like YouTube or Hulu I or think Netflix. That's where they're going like, to go with. Because, yeah. Mm-hmm. To be 100%, I think that's where they're going to go with because the user base that 
Everybody down there did that first month's free trial because after that, I forgot what was the charge. I think it was like five, ten bucks or something like that. Yeah. Everybody left. And yeah, yeah, yeah. a small base was there that was paying for it. And it's just like that. There's not enough for them to live on. It's not enough to, them, you know, to make, uh, make money. To make money on. Yeah, so it's just I, like. So it, I actually saw an ad. So for the 90 days. And then, like, when I clicked it and downloaded it. The 90 day like promotion was gone. Yeah. It like wasn't on the app anymore. And I was like, what? Like, this is crazy. I think was it 90 days. I thought it was 30 days. Like their free promotion. No, I saw like in the beginning it was 90 days, but like I, I didn't download it at that yeah, time. I never downloaded. I never bothered because there was nothing on there that interest me. And for it to flop this hard. Yeah. And for stereo to be a beginning app. Just and this initial just rollout was good. Success like this, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The only downside I have is just with that audio um, amongst you and other people. Like, I feel like the main person I was having issues with was Mark. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> well, I noted the other thing I noticed on the back end. It's good that you brought that up too. Is that when I was on Wi-Fi, like it was, you know, obviously if I didn't have a good Wi-Fi connection, it would like have issues. But when you switch from Wi-Fi to 4G, there's like a lag. So if it's like yeah. you're walking out the house or something, there's like a lag on that person's end. Yep, and that's so you right. You have to decide like who you're gonna be, what, where you're gonna be, sort of in your house or on the road or whatever. Yeah, my phone is always on uh, on uh, 4G, well LTE, and yeah. what you call it, uh, and that's because I have unlimited data, so I'm always on LTE. But when I had the call with D. And this is why we have a four minute chat on our little profile was because uh-huh. we're like, OK, let's get this started. We're going to talk. All right, cool. Then I started getting some like weird feet. I'm like, why is it I'm getting a weird connection? I hear him. Well, I was mm-hmm. like, hold on. And then I switch from my, I hadn't noticed my wife. I was on turned it off to switch over to uh, to LTE. And right in that process, silence. I was like. D. Yo, D. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, that's when we had the that issue. Yeah, you're like okay, I can I hear you, bro. I I'm like all I don't... about it at first, dude. I had to close out the app, reopen the app, then close out the app again and reopen it. I was like going nuts, and then finally we got through, redid our intro, and just went straight for it. Yeah, yeah. I think that I mean, like, for little back end issues like that, I think those are things that can be fixed, like in the long run. Mm. But I mean, when I guess if you're just like if you're on the if you're on the precipice. Of like a new app like this, you just have to like grow with it. You know, you gotta grow through the pain. Oh yeah, yeah, true. And that's it's the same like you know with these other apps. Like when you start started off, when Vine took off, and remember it was just it wasn't didn't have a lot of stuff. Then it started implementing more and more things to it. Then you have um now you have TikTok. They have so many different filters and so many different camera modes that people are just creating all these types of content. And to be honest, the TikTok stars, I want to say they're in small numbers, but they're growing. And these are like non-celebrities, like non-known celebrities, like straight people who started on TikTok and then blew the hell up on TikTok. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's possible for anybody nowadays. I think people need that. Especially when you're at home, people need the content, they need the connection, they need it all, so. Yeah. Well, we got the content, you know, we got giant bottles with ships in it sailing across the seas, so. Right. <laughs> Which makes me wonder that's about. Really funny that you, that's really funny that you turned your phone upside down, Dave, and you, did it, like, you didn't know you had 144 lists. Like, what yeah, was going I mean, through your mind when you, like, looked at the number and you're like, what? Well, at the very beginning, I was actually looking at all of the numbers and stuff, and it was kind of giving me anxiety because I was like, ooh. Because it was going to... up or it was, like, zero? No, it was it was going uh, from was, one to zero, one to zero. It was going, like, zero. in and out. Yeah, so I was like, oh, maybe okay. I need to talk about this, that. And I was like, man, screw it. Don't even look at it. Just do what you normally do. And then I guess I was just – I was in my bag. I was in my, uh, in my potting bag. You know, and it worked yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it was cool. Yeah. Well, we got nine out of ten, two nines out of ten, and a seven point five out of ten. Which is pretty good. Pretty solid. Yeah, it was just good. I feel like it's a pretty solid app. Yeah. So. And I'm to be honest, I'm here for the long run. 
There you go. Go check out your boys on stereo. Incompetent nerds unplugged. <laughs> Search yeah. us up. You know, I'm your boy. I'm Tank1889. Search me up. Find me I- at Mark. Four word, four letters. I got. This is the only time in my life I probably got that username, but I, I'm definitely gonna. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna stay on it. I hate that. And you I do. don't. And I don't know the name of mine, so I'll just probably like link it down in the description. <laughs> link it down in the description. Don't worry, homie. I got you. I'm gonna plug you in right now. Let me you look. You know I'm professional. You know I don't have my phone with me either. Mm-hmm. Yep. So hit up the angel. Uh, so hit up D at D'Angelo B, all one word. D'Angelo B, all D. one oh, word. Oh, perfect. Oh, there you there go. There we go. See, thanks, man. See, if we were into this whole, if we all got into the beta version, got into the creators thing, I would have had just tank, no numbers. D would have just been D. I would have been anonymous. That's why I would have changed. Change. You can change it. Yeah, I can change it, but there's another guy with a guy. There's another guy with tank in there. Oh, uh, man. Let me see if I can find him. All right, if I could choose anonymous, yep. oh, bro. There's a guy named Tank. Oh, you mother flower. There's another, ah. another dude named Tank Easy. There's only. F- Tank Easy. There's only eight tanks. There you go. Is Anonymous taken? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. I'm going to have to hit up this tank right here, the original tank. Like, yo, what's up, homie? Let's have or a conversation. My name could be- Administrator. Administrator. Ooh, I'll wow, take admin. Should I just report? Somebody was somebody was stereo dash admin. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> oh, that's legendary. Hey, should I report him? Saying it's it's spam. <laughs> No. So when they delete his account, yeah. I take the name Tank. Yo, that's a great strategy. That's a straight troll move right there. What is this? The Amazing Race? Are you gonna like underhand someone? Uh, yeah. You gotta get that money. Do whatever you can. Get that my I'm name out there. I say do it now. I'm all for it. I ain't that rude. It's, I'm fine. It's super underhanded, but you guys are fine. Sometimes you gotta be underhanded. Mm-hmm. You know. Because we in the Windy City, you know, we all about politics over here. Windy and what's politics. Up? And Mark, what's up with you and having Chicago co-hosts? I just want to throw that out. I was like, I don't know what it is, but like people from Chicago, man, like they're the only people I can vibe with on the radio. And it's crazy because it's like Chicago is now your adopted city. Yeah, it is my adopted city. Yeah, definitely. So when somebody Cowboys hits, are in Chicago, right? From yeah, come in from the Midwest after selling all their cattle. They got they got to spend that money on some nice pizza. Exactly, <laughs> it all works out. So I'm True. all for it. Somebody gonna hit uh, up Mark. So we're gonna go on vacation this year. I'm going to Chicago again. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's gonna be rich and famous, uh, well known comedian. The Cowboy and of the South a- Side. Oh my God, that's a vibe. Oh that's my a God, vibe. that is a vibe. <laughs> that's legit. I mess with that. <laughs> the gangs down there would be like, see me walking by with my cowboy hat. They're like, no, can we kill that guy? And they're like, no, that's Mark. No, nah, he's like, Mark. 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 He's a he's a cowboy of the South Side. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up got the cowboy boots with the American flag and underneath is the White Sox, uh, <laughs> White Sox as well. So you're just repping both of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, no, 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 you can't touch him. You can't touch him, homie. Yeah, he untouchable right now. He good. Yeah. Yo, what up, Mark? <laughs> Yo, all right. As Mark, he goes to a, a a bar or something and buys a shot with a shot with, with a shot, <laughs> you know? And he chilling. You know what? To be honest, that whole story about the shot with a shot, yeah. I feel like it's possible in Chicago. He goes to a bar in the South Side and just literally trades a bullet for a shot. They'll be like, ah, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> all right, all right. Come on. <laughs> I need another round for my oh. 357. Only if you told me where you got that cool cowboy hat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one more thing about the, the, the emojis because you guys don't like them. So, you know, the reason I'm the reason my emoji has a cowboy hat 
is because when we had that survey, they're like, is there any accessory you would like to add? And your boy said cowboy hat. And ah. guess what they put on there? <laughs> a cowboy hat. A cowboy hat. Yeah. So I feel like I got to rep it because I'm, I was like the inspiration for it. Nah, I go. get it. And I saw other, I saw some more people with the cowboy hat too, but I'm like, they're not doing the like Mark. No. Nah. Yeah, there's hella people with cowboy hats on now. Yeah. But I do like the halo that they kind of have. I was thinking about putting the halo over my head, but I'm, like, I'm not holier than that. So it's all right. <laughs> no, you're, gonna do <clears throat> yeah, you're not holy. You're more, uh, you're more of a vice. <laughs> oh, put respect on my name. Hey, bro, you know you could get the little bandana going on. You could be in there looking like Tupac. I actually looked at that. I was thinking about it, but I was like, I'm from Chicago. I don't Girl, know. How I was thinking about that. it, too. I was like, I'm dead ass about to put a pen down. I'll be like Tupac. <laughs> Yo. The light-skinned Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, I was tempted, but I'm like, screw it. I'm not going to do it. But other than that, does anybody got any- other than that, does anybody have um, anything else to say about stereo or anything else? That's it. This yeah, has been Incompetent Nerd. Like Go follow your boys on stereo. Yeah, follow us. And again, that's Tank 1889 in stereo. It's Mark in stereo. And it's D'Angelo B in stereo. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good one. Peace. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mark from Incompetent Nerds. We have our first sponsor. Uh, Shop Valerio is a online watch and sunglasses brand for men and women. And if you go to shopvalerio.com and use our code Mark.25, you get 25% off your purchase. That's S-H-O-P-V-A-L-E-R-I-O.com and use the code Mark.25 for 25% off. Thanks for listening.